Hey, it's Josh Reimer in Whistler, British Columbia. And in this episode of The Travel Tidbit, I'm going to show you all the places where my boyfriend and I slept and ate during our visit to help you plan yours. So the first place that we stayed at was the Evolution Whistler Creekside Lodging. And I loved our suite. I felt like we could actually live here because it had everything we need, including a washer and dryer. Um, also this awesome fireplace that went right out to a lovely patio. And then in the rest of the building, there is a fitness area, a games room, which was quite fun. And outside there's two hot tubs and a pool, also a steam room and a sauna. And at night it got quite romantic. And then we stayed at the Ava Whistler Hotel. So this is a great location, pretty much around everything. It's near the conference center. It's the host hotel for Pride when it's in Whistler. We got a deluxe king room with a nice winter view outside of our window. And this hotel also has a pool and a hot tub. There's a sauna and a fitness area. And if you're lucky, you might find a hot guy in your bed, because I did. And then I took that hot guy out for dinner, like any gentleman would. <laughs> we went to Aura Restaurant at Nita Lake Lodge. This is a world-class dining experience, hunty. They are right on the lakefront, which would be amazing to see during the day. Can't really see it at night, but it's an open concept kitchen, recently renovated, so it's beautiful on the inside, and as you can see, the food is beautiful as well, plus very tasty. And speaking of tasty, we got a fondue for dessert. A fondue for two. And then we wanted another dinner the next night. <laughs> Go figure, but another fancy dinner. We went to Sidecut Modern Steak and Bar in the Four Seasons. Sidecut is actually the name of the curvature on the side of a ski or snowboard, which is not very important, but I wanted you to have some useless trivia. Um, but this place has traditional mountain cuisine balanced with healthy lighter fare, or so their website says, because I just read that directly off of there. <laughs> it's a locally sourced menu with farm to table or ocean to table food, and check out these desserts. But then of course you can't just have fancy dinners in Whistler, or I guess you could, but we also wanted to have lunch. So we went to Elements Urban Tapas Parlor, where I guess they have tapas in the evening, but we were there during the day. They were voted one of the best places for breakfast. So for brunch, Heath had this Eggs Benny that came with such a cute little shot glass of smoothie. And I had a light, healthy brunch, which actually is totally my style. So we very much enjoyed our final meal in this beautiful resort town. And those are the places where we slept and ate during our visit to Whistler. I'll put links to all of them in the description below and make sure you come back next week to see all the things that we saw and did here as well. Bye. Bye.